What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. We're ready to take this guy on. So, probably should have, uh... It's been too oh, long since we crossed Lord, swords, please stop. brother. Shut up! Yep. Yeah. Right, my, uh, semi-auto. Go on semi-auto. And now let me heal up, because I'm, like, half fucking dead already. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Ow. Okay, this guy is no joke. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna have to go back to freaking dude and buy more, more, uh, beef shell. There we go, okay. You're Didn't have to feisty kill him. as a demon. I like it. <laughs> But alas, I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My... my body! I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! Oh shit, his sword's broken. No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Sigurai! Oh, calm down, Rokuro. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Go ask that old bastard there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kuragane. The blacksmith from the story. I'll be waiting for you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me, you ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? You got a problem with it, lady? <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir! I'm on a high-level mission! Eleanor, babe, I get it. You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. Uh... He wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. But if we all fight him together... That won't work. But there is another way. What are you talking about? What way? Follow me. Rogoro! Velvet, aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. To go replenish the stuff I just spent. What was that fat cat creature with Shigure? You mean Morgrim? She's a Moloch. She just looks different. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Moloch. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Moloch. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate, but he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Moloch arts. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. 
The Seven Wonders of the Abbey. No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No one! Except me, that is! Huh? This is all highly classified, but... Morgrim is incredibly lazy. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was... Grooming and defleeing! Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. <laughs> she may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. <sighs> Anything else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Malakarts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. So I was reading more into the uh, the XP stuff and exactly how it works, and I decided I, I've already gone back down to moderate. But uh, basically, I found some concrete numbers, and when you're on moderate, the experience you get is 0.95, whereas if you're playing on hard, the XP is decreased to 0.8. So losing out on 20% experience for the entire time I'm playing, you know, just doesn't really sound like something I'm that interested in. Um, so yeah, basically we, we've gone back to moderate. At moderate it's 0.95 and I feel that at 0.95 when you add in the bonus XP you can get probably about evens out. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully that'll help to pull back what I started losing from uh, What swuddling. were you thinking, Eleanor? Attacking a legate like that? Uh, well... Uh... I just thought Rokuro was going to die if I didn't intervene. Oh? You'd kill one of your own allies for a demon? I... I acted without thinking. Sometimes I'm too soft-hearted to a fault. I'd say it's less that, and more just stupidity. You're supposed to be protecting Lafayette. Don't get yourself into trouble you don't need. Even if one of our own is in danger? Even then. This kid must be really important to her. All right, I understand. Luffy said, next time she acts up, stop her. Understand? We don't know what she's got up her sleeve. Uh, okay. Thanks for not telling on me, Eleanor. And I'm sorry I hijacked your body. I understand how it feels to want to protect your friends. The problem's with those demons, not you. But I think Velvet has the capacity to feel the same way too. At least when it comes to her brother. Is that why you're staying with her? I'm... I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I have to figure out what's going on with this group. If I ever hope to wrest the child from them. Oh, this is where the blacksmith guy went. Not me to do that. Shoot, go back. There we go. One-on-one -on -one fight, semi-manual, makes sense. just about done and it so one of the new things I've been doing is locking items that I need to use still uh, works quite well there's that way I, I can just you know I can go here and be like okay you know I know I don't need this I know I, I won't need that because I have this one I think it'll make it a lot easier in the future when it comes to selling stuff
was tougher than I would have Hey, who might cycle? That's right, I already have. Yeah, I did have this. Probably just lost it. Yeah. I ended up reloading the save. Don't get careless! Yeah, I did have that already. Oh well, whatever. Anyway. Bam. They were nothing. Becomes a shortcut I can use once I get that jump ability. Come, on, come here, Mr. Zombie. I don't even know where the hell this is going. I don't know if I'm following the blacksmith or not. Oh, hang on. This came from that way. I was trying to go down the, the hole I opened up. I to the hole. Get some cats. Gotta get all the cats. Gotta keep. Christ, this whole fucking place is just holes. I'm starting to think maybe I should have just followed them. Because what if, like, he grabs the sword and that sword is what can break through all these crystals?
this hole? I don't even know, man. It's all just a hole. Yeah, no, I came from this way because I remember the panacea. You sure? Put that one on for now, and then for more challenging stuff, we'll use the mob of hurry. is almost done with their is anybody all right buddy looks like you're sitting bastard ring for a bit damn it another hole that's where I initially came from yeah this is damn it where the of the mines. So it's gotta be in here. Uh <laughs> I guess I take the other tunnel. I don't to go the depths of the mines where where is the depths where is the depth is there another connection all the way down there maybe I don't like and the thing is these mines 
mine say old mining site? Port side. That's where I was. So I came in through the. What's that white? It's just. What's that? It's in the depths. So I should go into the tunnel depths. Tunnel depths dead end. There's somewhere that I can go that they don't dead end. The question is, where the hell is that? There's got to be one of those little things that I overlooked. Another fucking hole I gotta crawl through. Hoping it's all the way at the end because that's the. I already went. I don't know. We're just gonna keep running, I guess, and hopefully we find it. That's what happens when the legendary blacksmith Kurogane toils so hard he forgets to die. I gave up everything, thinking of nothing else but forging a sword that could surpass Stormhowl. And before I knew it... You had traded your humanity for demonhood. I see I'm not the only one. So great was your grudge against your brother, the inheritor of Stormhowl. Well, guess we're not so different. You don't suppose you could hammer me up a new sword, do you? I forged countless blades over these long years, yet not one has proven a match for Stormhowl. And yet you still seek a Kurogane sword? I'll put it like this. No matter how much you've failed across the centuries, you've never broken. Well, I'm the same way. If anything can break Shigure and his god blade, it's the bitterness I carry. Strangely enough, seeing you and your brother has given me an idea that might work. I will forge you a new blade. Should we get some Brightstone? Nope. No need for that. Huh? Should I take it from the top? If you would. My arms are all I'll be needing. What are you doing? Don't be alarmed. I'm just cutting free some raw materials for the sword. You see something new every day. You need his head to make the sword? That's right. With this fine clump of pure resentment, I shall forge your imitation Stormhowl anew. No. I only keep this imitation as a reminder of how weak-willed I was in the past. To defeat Shigure, I've perfected the art of dual-wielding, a secret Rangetsu technique. All right. If that's what you prefer, a pair of short swords it is. Use his head to make the swords? That's pretty badass. Whoa. We'll wait outside. I guess we could talk to everybody. The ship is on its way, right on schedule. Of course it is. They don't have the Reaper on board. One more thing. Apparently, Shigure is Arturius's bodyguard. So we'll have to face him down sometime. 
no matter what. It's in our best interest to get rid of him while he's working alone. The problem is, Rokuro can't beat him by himself. Agreed. Shigure is not to be trifled with. Certainly. That's why, when Rokuro creates an opening, we're going to take Shigure out. You want us to meddle in somebody else's private quarrel? If it affects my own quarrel, yes. I suppose I'm in the same position. Besides, I can still use him. There's no sense in throwing his life away. Rokuro's not really a guy to care about the big picture. He might try to hack your limbs off a bit, but he'll get over it. Rokuro, Kurogane, I just do not understand them. You saw them. Demons. We're crazy. Sure, but they go through life with such crystal clear sense of purpose. Even demons have things they're not willing to let go. Or do you think us mere animals, running around killing people left and right? I know, I know. I understand demons still have a certain consciousness, but I look at those two and they seem passionate, like normal people. Well, I've yet to meet a human so passionate he'd chop his own head off. Do you have a purpose like they do? I do, in fact. Ever since Artorius used my brother as a sacrifice. Typical demon nonsense. The Abbey exists to protect the people. Yes, sometimes cold, painful decisions need to be made to protect the many, but they never stoop to human sacrifice. Besides, as Shepard, Artorias will cleanse the world of... If that's what you think, ask the precious Shepard yourself. Ask him just what he did three years ago. He wouldn't. He'd never... Oh, but he did. Rokuro wants to slay his brother even if it kills him. And Kurogane had his own head lopped off just to forge powerful swords. How do those two find it in themselves to go so far? It's just how they are. They're demons. Not exactly normal. Yeah, it's scary. But I also kind of admire it. But me, I don't have anything I'm that desperate to accomplish. Not yet, you mean. In time, you'll find something. You really think so? Almost certainly. But don't feel you have to go and risk your life over it. You're not a demon, and you should stay that way. You deserve a normal life. Okay. But never mind. Just the foolish ramblings of a demon girl. I made Bianco rush out to the docks to scout the place out. Pretty smart, am I right? I pity that creature sometimes. That Kurogane, though. What a character! Giving his own body to forge a sword, like some kind of ritual sacrifice. Ritual sacrifice? It's certainly something only a demon would do. It was a necessary sacrifice in order to gain power. A necessary sacrifice. What a vicious turn of phrase. Indeed. Still, I can't say I'm not thrilled to see how it all turns out. If what you give is mere meat for a god's morbid lunch, could there be a more trivial sacrifice? But if the offering is one's own body and soul, even a single hair can be portentous. I wonder which he will have been in the end. Bad, bad news! A group of Praetors have left the docks and are headed this way! They said they were coming to purge Eleanor the traitor! Purge? Oh. Velvet, what do we do? We take them head on. And you're fighting with us, Eleanor. An order, I presume. It is. Protect Lafayette and defeat the exorcists. All right. I understand. Just remember, if we lose Eleanor, Lafisset will turn into a demon. I haven't forgotten. But we need to pool all the resources we have. She needs us for her own ends. And we'll use that to our advantage in this fight. Just don't push your luck too far, Velvet. And so recently was she a noble, upstanding young exorcist. How quickly one falls when entering Velvet's dark orbit. Ask me if I care. Right. So... Whatever happened with the blacksmith. Little forward. Waiting at the... Yeah. Alright, well I guess we're gonna wrap this one up here. I'm assuming in the middle of fighting all these exorcists. 
probably show up with his new sword and be super badass. But either way, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow with more.